So, in this video, I will explain uh, the relation between degree of dissociation degree of dissociation and vapor density at equilibrium for that one I want to take one equilibrium here let us consider A is going to split into a n is going to split into n a so initially i'm going to take one mole of a n initially there will be no product that's why zero moles of a will be there and equilibrium alpha moles of a n has been dissociated one minus alpha then you can get the concentration of a at equilibrium is n alpha so here alpha it is nothing but degree of dissociation degree of dissociation degree of dissociation alpha is equal to number of molecules dissociated by number of molecules taken alpha value maximum that will be one that will be is equal to 100 percent so based on that criteria one minus alpha is the number of moles of a n present at equilibrium n alpha is the number of moles of present in A. Number of moles is equal to weight by gram molecular weight. Gram molecular weight can be written as 2 into vapor density. Let capital D is the initial vapor density capital D is the initial vapor density initially our matrim on our an initial vapor density of a n small d is the equilibrium equilibrium vapor density that will be present a n o as well as a both will be present at equilibrium that will that will be the equilibrium vapor density that implies from this relation number of moles is inversely proportional to vapor density number of moles is inversely proportional to vapor density from that one initially we have only one mole is there which is inversely proportional to initial vapor density capital D and at equilibrium how many number of moles are there means 1 minus alpha and n alpha are there 1 minus alpha plus n alpha which is inversely proportional to small d vapor density it implies 1 minus alpha 1 minus n which is inversely proportional to equilibrium vapor density small d now, if you are taking equation 2 by equation 1, equation 2 by equation 1, 1 minus alpha into 1 minus n by 1 is equal to capital D by small d. That implies 1 minus alpha into 1 minus n is equal to capital D by small d. That implies alpha into 1 minus n is equal to 1 minus capital D by small d. That implies 
alpha into 1 minus n is equal to small d minus capital D by small d. That implies if you are going to multiply with minus 1, alpha into n minus 1 is equal to capital D minus small d by small d. If you are taking alpha is equal to capital D minus small d by small d into n minus 1. So this is the relation between degree of dissociation alpha and vapor densities at the initial and equilibrium. Let us consider one example here. PCL5 which is an equilibrium with PCL3 gas plus CL2 gas. Here the number of moles we are getting 2 because 1 PCL5 molecules is going to split into 2 products. Then degree of dissociation alpha is equal to capital D minus small d by small d into 2 minus 1. And the capital D minus small d by small d into 1. That is equal to 1 minus capital D by small d minus 1. So that implies alpha is equal to capital D by small d minus 1 which is in the form of y is equal to mx minus c form h y corresponding to alpha m corresponding to 1 x corresponding to capital D by small d c corresponding to 1 like this then you can get the graph alpha on y axis and capital D by small d on x axis then you can get like this so m is equal to 1 if you are extrapolate this graph this value will be negative y intercept that value will be equal to minus 1 so if you are taking degree of dissociation this is the example for that one if you are taking degree of association degree of association then formula has been changed to alpha is equal to capital D minus small d by small d into 1 minus 1 by n this is the formula so n here degree of association and one more thing this formula can also be written as Initial molecular weight minus equilibrium molecular weight by equilibrium molecular weight into n minus 1. This is also correct formula related to alpha. So based on these formulas, we can do so many problems in equilibrium based on relation between alpha and capital D and small d.